so the goal of this project was to make uh, a glider which was provided by the school um, to encircle the largest area above the ground that it can um, under certain constraints such as launch height um, launch mechanism cannot be directly generated biologically so basically you just can't throw it you can stretch rubber band to launch it uh, and third at least 50 percent of the mass must be composed of the original glider and the flight itself can be powered which <laughs> triggered my ambition uh, and would be the reason that i had so little time to test the final design because of that little, the flight can be powered line, I went all in on electronics, which I couldn't get below 50% of the mass. And that would end up le leading me to the backup plan, which is just stretching a rubber band and launching it that way. All right, test number one. Well, good thing that didn't work. <laughs> Test number two with a downhill slope. Oh boy. Well, good thing I didn't tape it on. It's a good fail safe. Test number three with downhill slope. Okay. That didn't work out. Test number four, we're just gonna chuck it. It flies, just can't sustain it. All right, so I have two options here. Either I can A, add a biplane wing like that and try and give it more lift or i can try a completely separate power plant and i have some motors coming in soon so i might just wait for those and if those don't work then we'll glue on the biplane wing and see if we can't get this power plant to work all right, so I've got a completely new power plant and I've wired it up to this radio receiver just to sort of test it. And, uh, well, that works. <laughs> now we just gotta, you know, see how it flies. Okay, so to test this thing, I've wired up a radio receiver and plugged in a bigger battery than what's gonna be on the final thing. That didn't end so well. Uh, we're gonna put the elevator up and see how it does after that. Okay, now we've got the elevator up. Let's see how it does now. Oh boy. So it uh, loop-de-loops there. So I took off the motor mounts because I realized they were adding too much weight. Uh, too much unnecessary weight. Uh, and then I realized that uh, I had killed, like killed, killed all of my batteries that are light enough, which means it's time for plan B. So it is too windy out there for both the glider and the drone that I was going to use to actually record the results. And here's some footage from the drone just to show what it was like trying to control it in the wind. Uh, I had the camera pointed down because I planned to fly it over the flight and just record it that way. Of course, that didn't pan out. Uh, there's also the issue of the camera. The drone is way too zoomed in for this sort of thing. Like, I and there were power lines nearby, so I didn't want to go too high. But, you know, if I didn't go high, then I wouldn't have really been able to record it. And this is due tomorrow at 10 p.m. So I need to figure, I, I either need to find a place uh, to test this with no wind or wait till tomorrow when there's less wind and hope that it's 
enough less wind. So, on to the next day where uh, something would happen that would result in the loss of this glider. So I was doing some quick testing and uh, now it's over the fence. <sighs> and the drone is also over there. Uh, it doesn't look like there's fence over there, so I might be able to go over and recover something. I am hoping and praying I can. If I don't find this stuff over here, I'm gonna have to abandon for now. I'm not particularly optimistic about finding the drone and all this, especially with the water down there. But if I can get the glider, I'll be fine. So it is a natural gas pipeline over here. See, I have a feeling the glider and drone landed in these bushes or just in the water, which is horrible. It means I won't be recovering them anytime soon. I definitely don't see them going over there, but even if they did, I wouldn't be able to get them anyway. So I'll look, but I don't think it's going to be back here. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. I found the drone. No way. Now it was, it was definitely further this way than the glider. So there may be hope yet for finding the glider. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing it. So what I might do is uh, face the camera forward and fly the drone, uh, not over the fence. <laughs> like I tried to do last time with the camera facing directly downward. Um, there's something red over there, but I don't think it's a glider. <sighs> Darn. I don't know, though. It might have made it over the water. It may very well have. I'll look for a little bit longer. So I've decided to give up on that glider. And... Just... Go use another one, because... The drone controller has such poor latency with the actual drone that it's not really worth sending up the drone to search. So, yeah, I think I'm just gonna use paper clips and another glider. We'll see from there. So, I did manage to end up remaking the thing, essentially. What you saw there was a just a flight to trim the thing. Um, I had to take that blue glider, I had to reprint that hook and retape it on because paper clips were far too weak. I had to recut the um, elevator flaps, which I didn't show last time, but uh, I did cut those to help with stability. And when it did actually fly a circuit. We did it, I did it a couple times. The median one uh, encircled a polygon of, with an area of 533 square feet. Which uh, I hope is good. We'll see when it gets peer-reviewed uh, how that goes. But yeah. That's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.